What would you need for everything? For all of the Legos? Yeah. And then these I know go for what? Anywhere from 15 to 30. It's probably gonna be more than I really wanna pay. I appreciate it though. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. We actually had some stolen from us last, we're military, last minute we had some stolen from us, so um, yeah, that's awesome. But I'm wondering if we have, I'll ask him. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. How much are your Legos? Um, you, okay, so we have complete, we went through many hours the last couple of days. This one's missing two pieces. Everything that's marked complete set is a complete set. Oh, wow. This one is, um, my son built, the other little kid built it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's missing like one piece that goes in between like the axe hammer thing. Okay. Um, so it, it can't, we don't know where it is. We have, <laughs> we have searched everywhere for that piece. I don't know where well, it is. it's probably in my house um, somewhere. <laughs> it probably is, but I, um, they're pretty small pieces. <laughs> do you, what do you think? Is this full too? This, okay, so this is nev never made it inside. So it's always been, so I am pretty daggone sure we probably have extra pieces into here. Actually, that's, I don't know if it would have made it in here. But this, we haven't sold any of the colors, and I don't know. Gotcha, know gotcha. Did, did you do that? So it's pretty daggone close. If not, I did not count them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, what would you need for everything? For all of the Legos? Yeah. I mean, I know this is yeah, I mean, on Amazon. That's all yeah. I know. And then these I know go for, what, anywhere from 15 to 30 new, I think. Yeah. So you, I don't know. It's probably going to be more than I really want to pay. I appreciate it, though. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Have, Have a, good, a day. good day. Go brown. Morning. How much is your calculator? Calculator, you give me five dollars. Five dollars. You need to change the battery, though. That's okay, no problem. Okay. How much is your Roomba? Oh, Roomba. Um, give me ten dollars. Sure, I'll buy that too. Uh, oh, I, I give you stopper. I have two stopper. Oh, great, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I forgot to bring that. Oh. oh, this is a stopper. Okay. So I put there. It works. Okay, awesome. Because I I don't like it because it will bump on my go to furniture. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, so, and uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Same to you. Hello. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Staying stationed for my mom. She'll be on a sec. All right. Cool. I think your leg goes here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I have to go back out that way. Yes, uh huh. Yeah, okay. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Would you do 15 for both of these? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep them at 10. Okay, do you have the back for that? No. Okay, I'll do 15 for both of them. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hi, are you a greeter? He, uh, he just thinks everyone's coming to see you. Yeah, him. everybody's here to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Duke. 
Come on, buddy. Over here. He's just kind of like doesn't have yeah. a boundary awareness. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Morning. What are you asking on your hat? Five bucks. I'll buy that. There's five. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Morning, how you doing? Hi. Would you take 10 for your pumpkin? Yeah. Okay, cool. There you go, thank you. Thanks. You guys have a good day. What's up guys? It is Saturday morning and yesterday I went to a handful of garage sales. I didn't find as much as I had hoped to, but did find a handful of things. Got them all pulled out and I'm gonna show you what I bought. I got this Roomba, it is model 671. And I paid 10 bucks, it's got the docking station, a couple of these uh, little sensor things. She told me that she didn't like how it bumped her furniture so she didn't use it very much and i flipped it over and there's not a lot of use here a lot of times these brushes will get you know like all kinds of hairs wrapped up in them and stuff this one's pretty clean on the bottom uh the top needs cleaned up obviously but that won't take me very long um this is selling around 40 to 50 dollars not huge money there's, it's kind of heavy so there's a good amount of money that people are going to pay for shipping, so that probably hurts the value a little bit. But for 10 bucks, I think it'll be a good flip. Picked up this Lego Friends Hedgehog uh, for $5. It is new sealed. It's going for right around like 19 20 bucks. nothing crazy. Got these Cleveland Browns glasses for $0.25 cents each. We've got Mike Pruitt, Brian Sipe, Lyle Alzaldo, and Doug Deacon. These are from 1981. Paid $0.25 cents each. They're not selling for a ton. I saw one listing, uh, two of them went for like $18, and then another listing where four of them went for like 15 bucks. So for that price, probably not worth, you know, all the packing and shipping and everything to make sure these don't break. So probably just going to give these to a friend. My buddy likes the Browns, and uh, so does my brother-in-law. So maybe they'll want um... them. I got some Texas Instruments calculators at two different sales. I love finding these things because they're really easy to list, easy to ship, and they're a pretty good money maker too. At one sale, I got this TI Inspire CX. Uh, she said it needs batteries, but that's no big deal. I think this one takes the button cell batteries. So I'll have to get some button cell batteries for it. That was $5. It is selling between like $60 to $80. That's a really good one. The other two, we've got the TI 84 Plus Silver and the Plus C Silver. She was asking $10 a piece. I offered $15. Uh, and when she realized that this one was missing the back, she went ahead and accepted the $15. Bucks. Uh, a little bit dirty too. This one goes, I think right around like 40 to 50. Since it's missing the back, that's going to hurt the value significantly, probably by like $10, I'd say. This one is selling closer, like 50 to $60 range. Um, and it's got the back, so I should be able to get around 50 bucks for it. I got this killer safari hat. I think it might be military. The stamp on the inside says International Hat Company, December 31st, 1948. It's just got an awesome look to it. I paid five dollars i saw the same one sell for forty dollars last but not least i got this big jack-o-lantern blow mold the coloring on this one is pretty faded unfortunately i'm gonna flash a uh, screenshot on the screen for you guys of what it should look like if the color was all there and the one on ebay only sold for like 35 dollars plus shipping which is or maybe it's 30 dollars plus shipping which is kind of surprising because these do really well especially halloween i've done really well selling halloween blow molds they were asking 15, I paid 10. I'm gonna try to flip this locally and try to get, you know, 25, 30 bucks. I was hoping it'd be more around the like 40 to 50 dollar range. I always sell these really fast locally. Collectors love these things. So if you find them at garage shows, grab them. They're usually pretty cheap and you can make some good money with them. Before I end this video, I thought I would talk to you guys about the garage sale uh, where the lady had some Legos. She had like five or six sets uh, that were out of the box um, that she said were complete with the manuals. And then just had like a bunch of like loose Legos in a box and nothing was priced. I was interested in everything. 
and she seemed really hesitant to sell it. Like I could tell that she didn't want to really lose money on it. When I was asking prices, instead of like quoting me what she wanted, she was quoting me what she paid for it. So I'm always really hesitant with that stuff. Like I can get a vibe from somebody of whether or not we're going to kind of be on the same page. A lot of people just want their stuff gone. They don't care if I'm reselling it. They don't care what I'm doing with it. Um, and I can get it for a good price. Other people want to get as much money as they possibly can for it. And I could tell that was a situation with that. So that's why I walked away from that one. Uh, no sense in insulting her with an offer. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.